If you want to reprogram your mind in seven days or less, all you got to do is say what I'm about to share with you in this video. Follow these three steps exactly and you can reprogram your mind in seven days or less. So this whole story really starts with Harvard-educated American surgeon Henry Beecher. So he's serving in World War II and he ran out of morphine. And it's near the end of the war, there's a bunch of short supplies, so it's not super uncommon, but as a doctor, he's in a really bad spot because the next soldier's seriously wounded and he's afraid that if he doesn't have a painkiller for this guy, he's gonna go into fatal cardiovascular shock and the dude's about to die. So what happens next is pretty crazy. One of the nurses notices, doesn't say a word, fills a syringe with saline and gives it to the soldier just as if she was injecting him with morphine. The soldier calms down right away and he reacts exactly as if he's received the drug morphine, even though all he's got is a little bit of squirt of salt water into his veins. So Beecher goes ahead, does the whole operation, cuts into this guy, makes all the necessary repairs, sews the guy back up, does the whole thing without any painkiller and any anesthesia. The soldier's life saved, feels no pain, never goes into shock, and it really changes Beecher's life in that moment because he goes, how could someone be injected with salt water but physiologically react as if they were given morphine? So he keeps doing it, does the same thing again, injecting saline into soldiers that need it and telling them that it's morphine and then operating on them. And he ends up saving a bunch of people's lives. And when he returns back to the United States, he starts studying the power of the placebo. And then in 1955, Beecher ends up making history and he authors a clinical review study in the Journal of American Medical Association where he discusses the significance of placebos and where it originated with him back on that battlefield with that wounded soldier that was given salt water. So big idea number one that summarizes that story is just the title of this book here. You are the placebo by Dr. Joe Dispenza. You are the placebo, not just for health. You're the placebo to your financial life. You're the placebo that can make you a million dollars. You're the placebo that can help you attract your soulmate. You are the placebo that can radically change your life. By the exact same principle that these soldiers were given salt water, they thought it was morphine, they had their bodies cut open into surgeries, they didn't even feel pain. Through that exact same power, you can use it to make more money. You can use it to become more confident. You can use it to attract your soulmate. You can use it to improve every single area of your life. But it starts with a choice. And that choice is, what are you going to create for yourself? What are you going to create for yourself starting today over the next seven days? But if you thought that was crazy, here's big idea number two, which is to surrender to your own conscious commands. And it's a pretty wild story. All right, so picture this. There's a 36 year old guy, his name is Ivan Santiago, and he's standing in front of a New York City street with a bunch of paparazzi, and they're all gathered behind one of those luxury red ropes that you see in five star hotels. And they're waiting for a foreign dignitary who's about to exit the building, and he's gonna jump into a blacked out tinted SUV limo. But Santiago's the only one that doesn't have a camera. In his backpack, he actually has a pistol and it's outfitted with a silencer. So the hotel door opens and out walks his target, this foreign dignitary, and he's dressed in a nice white crisp shirt and he's wearing black shades and he's carrying a brown leather briefcase and he only takes one, two, three steps. Santiago pulls out his pistol fires at the guy, guy drops motionless with his white shirt covered in a red stain. Now here's where it gets pretty crazy because right 
immediately after that, a man who's actually one of my friends, his name's Tom Silver, and he appears out of nowhere. He calmly puts his hand on Santiago's shoulder and he puts the other on his forehead and he says, on the count of five, I'll say fully refreshed. Open your eyes and wake up. One, two, three, four, five, fully refreshed. So pretty crazy story. Santiago actually had been hypnotized to shoot a stranger, although he didn't actually shoot him. It was a stuntman and it was actually a harmless airsoft prop gun. And the blood that was coming out of the guy's white shirt was just a bunch of water dyed red. And they were actually doing a, a test to basically find out, can an all around good person become an assassin using the power of hypnotism? So the day before this whole thing's going down, the researchers started out with a group of 185 volunteers. So Tom Silver, he's my friend, he actually, I do hypnotism with him. He hypnotizes me for success. And he's a certified clinical hypnotherapist. He actually, in his biggest job ever, he helped the Taiwanese Department of Defense bust a $2.4 billion international arms trading scandal through hypnotism. And so they screen 100 85 people and after a bunch of crazy experiments and I won't go into all of it right now because it'll take too long but Santiago the guy we're talking about he wins but he couldn't know that he won because this whole thing's being staged he couldn't make the connection between the experiments and standing in front of the hotel where all these people are out like they didn't want him to consciously realize like oh I'm in a staged event and so a part of this the TV producers tell him that he hasn't been selected for the program and they just said hey you know can you return the next day we just want to do an exit interview with you so they bring Santiago upstairs. They do the exit interview. The producer leaves out of the room. And then my buddy, one of the most famous hypnotists in the world, Tom Silver comes in and starts talking to the guy and just tells him, hey, look, you know, I just want to congratulate you. And I just want to tell you how great you did. I just want to say my goodbyes to you. And as Silver shakes his hand, he gives him a little tug on his arm that prompted Santiago, who by now had a well-conditioned cue after days of all of these experiments and tests, to drop him immediately into a hypnotic trance on the couch. So while he's in a hypnotic trance, Silver tells him there's a bad guy downstairs, he's gotta be erased, we've gotta get rid of him, and you're the only one that's gonna be able to do it. He gives him the whole instructions on the backpack and you're gonna have this gun in the backpack. He tells him the foreign dignitary is gonna be wearing all white, he's gonna walk out of the hotel in this location towards the black SUVs. Puts all of this into this guy's hypnotic trance and then he does something crazy snaps the guy back out of the trance but gives him a trigger that will allow him to re-enter the trance at a later time now here's where it gets crazy he tells santiago that the trigger is one of the producers walking up shaking his hand and saying ivan you did a spectacular job and that was gonna be the trigger that would put him back into the hypnotic trance to fulfill his mission of using this airsoft gun in order to shoot this stuntman in this whole fake scene. So they let Santiago go, and as he's walking down, the producer walks up to him, shakes his hand, tells him he did a spectacular job, boom. He's in the hypnotic trance. He goes down to the hotel, waits for the stuntman foreign dignitary to come out and shoots the guy with a airsoft gun and then tom silver pops out of the scene brings the guy back out of hypnosis and into a normal waking state the guy doesn't remember a thing until silver puts him back into a hypnotic translator and has him remember everything so now that you know some pretty crazy stories about the power of your subconscious mind, big idea number two is summarized in one of my favorite books, You Are the Placebo by Dr. Joe Dispenza. And he says to activate the power of your mind in this way, to activate the placebo, to reprogram your subconscious, it's not an intellectual exercise. That you actually have to remove 
logic from the equation and start to trust the power of your subconscious mind. And the way that you do this is by accepting and surrendering to your own commands. Accept and surrender to your own commands. I am attracting millions of dollars. I am worthy of my soulmate. I am good enough. I am smart enough. You are those things. And when you get out of logic and hyper analyzing it, is this good enough? Am I good enough? Will this really work out? When you get out of the way of that and you stop analyzing it, you stop logically trying to decipher it and you start surrendering to your mantras or to the commands of your subconscious, that's when you activate the power of it. And in the same way that Tom Silver is able to make this guy go into hypnotic states and do all this crazy stuff, you can use the power of your mind in the exact same way to make more money, to attract your soulmate, to do all of these great things. But it's summarized best by Albert Einstein. He said, logic will take you from A to B, but imagination will take you anywhere. So the question is, what do you really want? And what do you want to put into your subconscious? Now, big idea number three is to become your own hypnotist. Now, I'm kind of one of those guys that's like a, a nerd at this stuff. So when I started learning all of this, and there's so many of these crazy stories about the power of people's minds and healing themselves from illnesses and crazy hypnotic things, I said to myself, why not? Like, why don't I just try it? And that's what I'm asking you to do in this video for the next seven days to just try it. And so the way that you're going to do this is to pick a specific mantra. I tested this with $10,000 and it was the first time I ever started to put myself into specific, intentional, hypnotic intentions for something I wanted to happen in a quick period of time. So I said $10,000, right? So I started listening to my success hypnosis. You can use it for free. It's right there down below. It's jakeshypnosis.com. It's my free success hypnosis to reprogram your subconscious mind. So make sure you grab that. It's linked in the description and pinned to the comments. So I started listening to that. And while I listened to that, I made my own statement, which is what I'm asking you to do here. Mine was that I was so happy and grateful that I attracted $10,000 unexpectedly. I'm so happy and grateful I attracted $10,000 unexpectedly. And I started repeating that in my head all day. I started listening to this success hypnosis and something crazy happened. This was earlier in my career. I was about 22 years old. I had self-published a book, backpacked around the world. I was trying to build my career, but I wasn't getting that much good luck happening and I couldn't really get that many paid speaking gigs. So thus I was using the experiment on that. I'm doing this every day. One day I wake up and I get an email from a woman and she asked how much it costs to hire me for a speaking event. And I noticed her email was from a very big Fortune 500 company. And so I said, well, I'm telling this lady $10,000 because that's what my goal is here. She says, yes. And here's the crazy thing. It's not just that I got that speaking gig out of absolutely nowhere. It's how it happened. So this lady can't sleep in the middle of the night. She turns her radio on and it's like three in the morning. And I come on because I was on Coast to Coast AM with George Norrie, which starts at like midnight and it goes for two or three hours. And she heard me, thought I was interesting and wrote my name down before she fell back asleep. And then in the morning she sent me an email and that's how I got the gig. That's the power of the subconscious mind. So I want you to refer back to this video every day for the next seven days. I want you to pick a specific mantra for yourself. I'm so happy and grateful now it might be for a thousand dollars. It might be for a new client. It might be to sell your house. It might be to attract a new friend. It might be to get one of your problems solved. It might be to go on an awesome new date and meet someone that you're really attracted to. Pick a specific clear intention and turn it into a one sentence mantra. And then meditate on that every day. Listen to my success hypnosis for at least five minutes every single day. And while you do it, mentally rehearse your specific thing that you intend to manifest. Now, 
It's really important to understand, the more that we accept, believe, and surrender to whatever we're doing to change our internal state, the better the results are. Accept, believe, surrender. I entered the exact scenario in my mind of receiving that $10,000. You need to accept, believe, and surrender to the exact scenario of you walking on the beach with your soulmate, or you selling your house, or you getting that great opportunity that happens in the next seven days. So there you have it. Do your own thought experiment, become your own hypnotist, and say that mantra for the next seven days to reprogram your mind and change your life.